Ken Thompson, Dave Koken back, second of two college videos, second of four videos. We'll have two NFL videos coming up. Dave Koken's up on the hot seat, and Dave Koken, Louisiana Tech, they are at home. They're playing a Western Kentucky team that uh, last week I was very fortunate I got some money from. <laughs> So, yeah. You clued yeah. me in. I, I yeah. really couldn't stop ODU. Um, this is, I mean, nobody's stopping anybody in this game. Right. And Old Dominion's about to go in and take the lead with, uh, about, I think, about eight minutes left in the game. Uh, they, they'd driven down the field again uh, with uh, the, the guy who sounds like a beer, Heine, Heineken. Heineken. Heineke. Uh, I quote, he's, he's having a big game, but he made a mistake. And uh, the uh, Western Kentucky guy picks it off 96 yards wow. the other way. That's, that's a 14-point swing. And then they let, they added a late field goal right. for the 66-51. Kind of a lucky win for Western Kentucky. A good effort by Old Dominion, which in his that first, late field first goal year, actually covered the closing line. Yeah, that's right. So and yeah, I mean, you wonder if Coach I know that. No, he's trying to get. <laughs> he wants to get the 15 for obvious right, reasons. Sure. It's you know, 15 is better than 12. Right. Um, but you know, it, it, Western Kentucky is not. Uh, they showed some stuff early in the season, but they've had a couple of problems. One is closing games, uh, although they did last week. And the other is they just, they're, they're getting progressively worse on defense. And I think that might get exploited this week by a Louisiana Tech team that's uh, not great offensively, but is doing enough to get wins and has a pretty good defense. Yeah, and they had a little bit of a struggle a couple weeks ago against Texas San Antonio, down 10 nothing. They scored 27 straight, and they give up the last 10. That was crazy. If Same you had thing to last week, by the way. They were down at the half. They just couldn't get out of their own way early. But it's a 60-minute game. In the second half, they were fine. Uh, this week, they're at home. And I think the, you know, Western Kentucky at this point, well, it, it's something I'll talk about when I make the play official. But there is some value to be had here, I believe. Rest in Louisiana. That's where the game is going to be. It's Louisiana Tech. They're minus six and a half against Western Kentucky. Dave Koken, this is your play. Let's go ahead. Let's make it official. You know, one of the things I like to look for in uh, college football, particularly in games that nobody's really paying attention to, is results from the prior week that might garner a little bit of value because people see the final score and that's all they look at is the final score. Well, if you look at last week's game, eh, not bad, Western Kentucky uh, favored, you know, small double-digit favorite, and they end up winning by 15 against Old Dominion, win and cover. Uh, but it wasn't really a win and cover. This is a game they could have easily lost. And I think they, the way the game was flowing, I think they would have lost the game had they fallen behind on that last Old Dominion drive. But they got the 96-yard pick for six and, and won the game by 15 points. Uh, this is not a good football team right now. And if you look at their defensive charts since the start of the season, they were never a good defensive team to begin with, but they've gotten worse and worse and worse. And they've been really bad uh, in terms of wearing down in games. You saw, I think, the game that everybody saw the most in was the Illinois game early. That's all the way back in week two. They had that game won, and, and Illinois blitzed them in the fourth quarter and got the victory. That game's been long forgotten by most people, but it actually was the tip of the iceberg as far as, Louis, as, far as Western Kentucky is concerned because they've maintained that tendency the whole stinking year. This team can't finish a game. The fact they did last week maybe gives me a little bit pause for concern, but not that much. Uh, Louisiana Tech, I don't know what's wrong with their offense in the first half. Maybe they're just showing up late for games. But they have come on and played well in the second half of these most recent games. And prior to that, they had the annihilation against UTEP. This is a pretty good football team. I think they're a solid squad in this spot. And I made the line here. Uh, double figures. So I, to me, this line's cheap. Um, you don't often say that there's value in a favorite, but I think there is here. I, I, I think you're looking at maybe three to four points getting the best of it on the number with the number at six and a half. Louisiana Tech Bulldogs minus the points. My uh, college comp for the week. There you go. Hey, I'm not going to argue with it. Cody Sokol, pretty consistent not as bad. far as you know the amount of points they put up every week. When they come, a lot of times in the second half, do I look at Louisiana Tech because as of late they have been a good second half bet? Well, that's that plays into uh, one thing because uh, if they're playing well in the second half and the other team can't can't stop anybody in the second half, those are team tendencies that would indicate that if Louisiana Tech even gets out to a short lead in this game, they're going to have a great chance to pull away and get an easy cover. There you go. All right, we got a couple NFL videos to go. Dave Koken's going to come up next with an NFL video. Uh, Koch's trying to remember the game that you're on. 
and uh, so are you. <laughs> No, it's the 49ers. Game. I know. San Fran and the Rams are going back at it after just a couple weeks. It's so. not the Bears plus the points. Okay? It's not the Bears. <laughs> Again. Oh, man. That was a boy. That was tough. No, just doubt about just it. missed that one. But just a bit one. outside. Hey, you know what? Doesn't matter. Like Chuck tells me, hey, if you lose by a half point, you lose by 30 points. Doesn't matter. You well, yeah, but it's nice to window. it's nice to actually have a chance. Right. You know, after the kickoff, <laughs> this game, I lost this game at the coin flip. Yeah. Well, hey, we've all lost those. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. As long as we win more than we lose and we're doing that so far on the videos we'll keep it rolling we'll come back we'll talk a little NFL football Ken Thompson Dave Koken pregame.tv <clears throat>